You asked him what book he's currently reading. It's hilarious to watch him try and talk. I asked him anything I could think of. Favorite color? Blue. Favorite dessert topping? Trust me, you never know what fact may prove the key to saving your life. Whip cream. I asked him if he was sure. Where are you going? You're an ass. I know. Where are you going? This is either a toxin, an infection, or an allergic reaction. I assume you gave him epi, so that rules out allergies. Put him on antibiotics in case it's an infection. And if it's a toxin, we'll keep him here overnight. Let the swelling go down, send him home. I'm going to the movies. Which one of you is house? Skinny brunette. No, it's Dr. Cameron. I'm skinny. How do you know her name? I was a patient of yours. Oh, well, if you want to leave the chocolates downstairs. <gasps> Stay! Stay away from him. Shocking, isn't it? Who'd want to hurt you? You're pathetic. Judging by the growth, I'd say I've been unconscious for two days. Been sitting there the whole time. No. Judging by the oily buildup in your hair, I'd say you're lying. I was scared. Pardon me for caring. I lose any organs. The bullet your abdomen pierced your stomach, nicked the bowel, lodged in the posterior rib. I always say if you're gonna get shot, do it in a hospital. The one in your neck. I don't remember that one. Went right through, severed your jugular. The shooter turns out to be a guy who... Don't care. You don't care why a guy walked into a hospital and shot a doctor? Shot you? I assume his reasoning was faulty. So what was it? Infection? The surgery went fine. You've had no post-op. Me? Patient. Harpo. You just got shot, House. You should rest. I got shot. Diagnostically boring. Big fat tongue, on the other hand. Endlessly entertaining. We biopsied his tongue. Uh, uh, uh. It was negative. And the blood tests were negative. I didn't say we did blood tests. You don't biopsy a tongue unless you have to biopsy a tongue, and you don't have to biopsy a tongue unless you've already come up with nothing in a routine battery of tests, which don't involve torturing the patient. Any new symptoms other than the increased intracranial pressure? Any guesses on how I figured that one out? You knew the next step would be a lumbar puncture. A lumbar puncture would almost certainly give us a definitive answer. Since we don't have a definitive answer, we must not have done an LP, and the most common reason to not do an LP is increased intracranial pressure. He was shot by security trying to... House, what are you... House? I'm talking to Cuddy. Lie down, you've gotta be in pain. Not today. Today I'm on morphine. You're gonna rip your stitches out. Check Harpo's trash. Forget about the patient. Come on. You're curious. Trash. You don't know what I'm talking about, but you know it's good. You can't just be walking around. Well, then stop me. You've lost physically blood. Physically stop me. You could damage You can't. Because that would involve physically touching me, and then things would get so sexually charged. Twice your size, get your hands off me. Everything that lives eats. Everything that eats poops. That's why every organ has a sanitation department, a limb system. Whatever's doing the damage is dumping its waste in there. That's what you meant by trash. Biopsy the limp node under the jaw. Sorry, I know it's crazy, but there's no other place. It's the ICU. It stands for intensive care. He needs intensive care. So do you. He needs to be shot again. He is handcuffed to his bed. He is sedated. He's not going to hurt you. If your security was any good, I wouldn't have been shot in the first place. He is where he's supposed to be, where you're supposed to Who be. Who did my surgery? Gillick. Why, are you going to send him a fruit basket? He screwed up. It's annoying enough dealing with your Vicodin habit. Quit upping your morphine. I'm not. I'm reducing it. And you're not in pain? 
feeling better. Gillick is very good. Your recovery time... My stomach she... kills me, my neck is throbbing, my leg feels better. That's amazing. It's unbelievable. Since getting shot is not an FDA-approved treatment for anything, it means something must have gone wrong in the surgery. Yes, terribly, tragically wrong. Enjoy the mistake. You must have nicked something in my peripheral nervous system. If it's alleviating pain, who knows what else it's doing. Get back to the ICU before you rip out your stitches, and I have to chain you to your bed. Why did you try to kill me? I didn't. Didn't the gun thing might have been a mistake. If I didn't kill you, it would have been over. I need you to live. Because I want to see you suffer. story I have a rule people who shoot me forfeit the right my wife was sick none of the doctors could figure out why oh I know this story she died so you selected one of her doctors to kill because that would make everything right again uh, she lived you cured her I'm truly sorry I did that. In the course of investigating her illness, you convinced me that everything was relevant. You needed the truth. I confess to you that I had had an affair. But it turns out that it had nothing to do with why she was sick. Genetic predisposition to brain aneurysms. You told her that. You also told her about my affair. You caught crap. She left you. Now I've got to pay because you can keep your little killer in your pants. What sort of hospital has glass walls? That's my husband. Really? He thought I just liked watching people get needles poked in the back? Nope. Figured a co-worker or a sister, not wife. Why? Don't worry, it's not insulting. At least not to you. You're satisfied by that answer? You're Dr. House, aren't you? You're not gonna shoot me, are you? You treated a friend of mine. She told me you only talk to people if you have to. And then you insult them while showing off how insightful you are. Sevens marry sevens, nines marry nines, fours marry fours. Maybe there's some wiggle room if there's enough money or somebody got pregnant. But you've got at least three points on your husband. And your frock says you didn't do it for the money. And your breasts say that you haven't any kids. So you figure my marriage is a mathematical error? Numbers don't lie. We're having trouble finding out what infection your husband has, the most likely culprit is an STD. You want to know if I've had an affair with someone closer to my integer. And I have to tell you the truth or my husband will die. Is your friend single? No. And I've always been faithful. Wow. I would have bet money something would go wrong. Let's rotate him back. <clears throat> He's bleeding into his ocular orbit. LP wouldn't do this. Lots of pressure behind. Got to relieve it. What's going on? What, what are they doing? I should go. 
I've seen if... torn my stitches.